we welcome everyone today is kind of a special part of uh, what takes place at a Super Bowl and the uh, there's a lot of things that that are more than the game and uh, we as a host committee with Bill Lively as our CEO have really tried to make sure that North Texas really enjoys this Super Bowl and with the events we're having and there's a youth education town that it is part of it it's as we know it as a yet center and you know, I've, ha I've had the privilege to be on the Salvation Army board many years ago, and uh, I was on the national board, and it, it's an organization. I mean, it's, it's overwhelming. When you look at giving back in life, it's all about <laughs> some of us take out more than we give back, and uh, not the Salvation Army and the families that are uh, involved with the Army. Uh, they, they, they give back uh, a heck of a lot more than they take out of life, and it's it's a it's a it's a phenomenal experience to see what the Jones family's done on Thanksgiving Day and what it's meant to the Salvation Army and how it's impacted the Salvation Army and how people know that the Salvation Army is uh, in the middle of every problem <laughs> that takes place or every disaster that takes place or they're just there to help people. So it's a real privilege to uh, introduce Troy Aikman, who's going to talk more about the Yet Center. One of the responsibilities the host committee embraced in planning the region's first NFL yet was to determine the organization that will operate the NFL yet and provide services in its facilities. For more than a year, the North Texas Super Bowl 45 host committee worked diligently to develop a unique concept for the region's first NFL yet, defining the NFL yet's primary and ancillary responsibilities and identifying qualified organization to own, operate, and manage the NFL yet. At today's conference, we will announce this organization and define some of the programs it will plan and implement. I could not be happier with the host committee's selection of this organization because I know they will embrace the responsibilities of establishing and operating the region's first NFL yet with the same commitment, dedication, and efficiency that characterizes every program in which they are involved. The region's first NFL yet will be constructed, be actually created in Arlington, in a neighborhood, as Troy said, where lots of children with special needs exist today, live today, in the shadow of Cowboy Stadium. The organization that will own, operate, manage, and program in the NFL yet is the Salvation Army DFW Metroplex Command, and that's a good thing. Now, to get the yet established, as Troy said, the, the host committee needed to raise $1 million to be matched in a like amount by the National Football League NFL charities. And the Gene and Jerry Jones Family Autonomous Youth Foundation has made a $1 million grant to fulfill that obligation. But we love the Salvation Army, and they, we all know they do the most good, and it's the Salvation Army around the world, but especially we love the one right here in our own area. And this is basic human service. It's food, it's shelter, it's, it's entertainment, it's education, it's music, in all these different avenues to be able to bring in additional service providers along with the Salvation Army to really help make an impact of our youth in our community. So we are very excited to partner with the Salvation Army once again and to be with NFL Charities and the host committee to really make this the best NFL yet ever. This is an organization with a remarkable record of accomplishment. It has long been admired by the Jones family, by the Dallas Cowboys organization, and by the NFL alike. So it is with great anticipation of the unique programs and the valuable services that this North Texas NFL yet will provide under the Salvation Army's leadership that NFL Charities is privileged to match the generous gift from the Gene and Jerry Jones family Arlington Youth Foundation with a $1 million Super Bowl legacy grant in support of the establishment of this North Texas NFL youth education town. We're pleased to announce today that a distinguished North Texan, a former Dallas Cowboy, Emmett Smith, will be the founding chair of the NFL Yet's first regional board of advisors. On behalf of the 743 staff members and thousands of volunteers of the Salvation Army DFW Metroplex Command, the Salvation Army is honored and challenged to be named the owner and operator of the first ever North Texas NFL yet.
In the next few years, the NFL yet in Arlington will reverberate with the encouraging sounds of such programs as an expanded fitness zone, healthy eating instruction, computer labs, classrooms with smart boards, music instruction, practice and performance areas, athletic fields, sports instruction, arts and crafts, adult continuing education at the secondary level and beyond, character development programs, anti-gang and drug prevention programs, drama, film and video production, perhaps even an inner city garden. These programs will be made available through the Salvation Army and a whole host of programming partners who are and will always be welcome to fulfill the promise of the first ever North Texas NFL yet, a youth education town. No matter what spark of greatness lies within those who enter the NFL youth education town, it is the pledge of the Salvation Army that the tools necessary to turn that spark into a roaring flame of excellence will be provided. May God bless the work of the very first North Texas NFL yet. Thanks to the media and, and also the audience here for being here with us. Uh, it, it's a big day for <laughs> where the season started and we got a lot of good things cooking as far as uh, getting ready for the Super Bowl, but this is a big day for, for the Salvation Army and uh, the NFL, uh, Arlington, and the Jones family, and, uh, and our host committee, and we thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.